everyone. Today's unboxing video is for a book haul from christianbook.com. Show you the box here, christianbook.com. Um, I have done a couple of their fiction surprise boxes, which I've been pretty happy with. This is not a surprise box, however, this was just me shopping their sales. And I really, it was their Christmas sales, and I really just wanted to share with you about this website and um, show you what kinds of things you can get for really good prices, um, mainly, mainly books, Christian book, Dot com does sell other things but um, it is the books primarily that I buy from them so I just wanted to share this with you so you can see what kind of uh, treasures you can find so let's get right to this mm. trying to keep my address label covered up because it wouldn't let me pull it off real easy. So let me open that part. Okay, and then take my packing slip. Okay, so before I get started opening it, I'm going to say, let me count everything. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 items. Everything except one, it looks like was a book. And that, I spent about $53 on this. So that just gives you kind of an idea of what the prices are like, what, what kind of deals you can get. I'm also gonna tell you about the price that I paid at the time. Now, um, you might not be able to find the same price. You might get a better deal or some of these items may be gone now. That's probably why I got some of the sales prices. But I'm going to talk a little bit about what I paid and why I picked those particular items. So let me get my packing slip. Okay. Yeah, my total order was $53.14. So you can see already there's some goodies in here. Okay. All right. So the first book that I'm going to pull out is this one. And this is Christmas at Carnton or Carrington by Tamara Alexander. Um, it's a Christmas novella and it's in a uh, mass, mass market paperback, the smaller paperbacks. Um, it is, should be a romantic, yep, historical romance. Okay, so this I bought for $2.39, which is a great price for a paperback, um, a smaller paperback. And I had been kind of eyeing this for a little while, so that was pretty much why I got that one. I have not, I don't think I've read any of Tamara's books yet, um, but I have a couple of them on my shelf waiting for me, so I think I would be more likely to get into these than her longer historicals. So that was why I picked that one. Okay, and then the next book I have is also a mass market paperback, um, Honeysuckle Dreams by Denise Hunter. And oh my gosh, I'm so glad. <laughs> I just saw this recently at a used bookstore and was going to pick it up. And I'm glad I didn't now because I didn't remember that I had actually got it in this box. Okay, so Honeysuckle Dreams. I paid $5.99 for, it's a little bit of a thicker book. It's a contemporary romance. And um, I read the first book in this series and I really liked the premise of the second one here. So uh, that's why I picked that one. Um, $5.99, that's not bad for, it's, it's probably a little bit on the higher end of what I typically pay, but still a good decent price. Okay, and then I'm going to get to, here is a trade paperback. Trade paperbacks are my favorite um, sizes to read. When Love Arrives by Johnny Alexander. It's a contemporary romance. And it is in a series. So let me look it up on my list. When Love Arrives. 
This one I paid $6.49 for. Now, these books um, are typically $15. So that's you know more than half off. So that's one, it's a good price, but it is more than I would typically spend. And the reason I spent a little bit more on this one was because I think uh, I, have, I have at least one of the books in the series. So let me move my books around here. I had at least one of the books in the series and this was another one. I don't know if it completes my series or if I just wanted to add to it, but that was why I got that one. And then the next book is Deadly Intentions, also a trade paperback um, by Lisa Harris. It's a romantic suspense. And let's see, where's this one at? Um, this one I got for $3.19. They said it was slightly imperfect. I love... <laughs> They have, they have a section for slightly imperfect books and well, I'm telling you, I don't know what's imperfect about it because it's in really great shape. So $3.19, that's a really good price for a trade paperback. And I've read Lisa Harris's books, other, other books that she's written and I love her writing. So, and then also Lisa Harris is this trade paperback, Vanishing Point. This is a Nikki Boyd novel. So she wrote a series about a, um, I believe Nikki Boyd was an FBI agent. She was in law enforcement. Um, and I read the original trilogy series and then this one came out, which um, I had had my eye on. So this was why I got this one because I read the series. So I paid $2.99 for this one, which Again, great price. Okay, so I'm just gonna set that one on top of that. Okay, and then, this is 12 Days of Christmas by Debbie Maycomer, and it's a mass market paperback. And I just, well, I have read a few of Debbie's books. I like her writing. Um, it's a Christmas romance. I, I liked her, the, the, uh, premise of it and this one I got for four dollars and ninety nine cents okay I'm gonna put you here okay I'm gonna need to move the box I think all right and then uh, by Abigail Wilson in the shadow of Croft Towers this is a trade paperback it's a historical, I believe it's a historical romance. And I have a, uh, a couple of Abigail's books on my shelf that I've been wanting to read. So this one caught my attention when I was perusing their sales. Let me find it here. And this one I paid $4.49 for. Okay. And then, oh, I'll come back to this one. They Danced On, a Darling Family Novel by Carrie Armstrong Gardner. It is a trade paperback. It's a mm, family life fiction. Um, I managed to get the other two books in this series also on sale. So um, when I came across this one, which was another one on sale, this completes the, my series, which was why I got this one. Um, I paid $2.99 for that one. Okay, I'm going to move the box. Okay. Then I got this one, which I just love the cover on. Uh, Mind of Her Own by Diana Lazier Brandmeier. I apologize if I'm messing up the name. It's a trade paperback. This one is a contemporary romance. And um, I, one, I really liked the cover and also I was just intrigued by the premise and this one I got on sale for $1.99. I mean, you can't beat that. Well, you, you could beat that, but that's pretty good. Okay, and then, okay, and then I'm not gonna show this one just yet. Let me get down to the bottom here. Okay, then I got, this was not an item this is a ruler and it's got the, you can't really see a whole lot. Let me use the background on this one, maybe you can. 
Um, so basically, this is the Old and New Testament books on a ruler. So um, I just picked this up. Sorry, moving out of the way. This was like 69 cents, and I just added it to my cart because I liked it. Okay, and then I got this book, which is not a fiction book, a Bible Basics for Everyone, and I picked this up for 99 cents, and I just thought it was an interesting book. I didn't realize it was going to be so small, but that's okay. So it basically just, you know, gives you... It's an easy to understand little volume to give you information and tools about reading the Bible. So I can always use help with, with getting my Bible reading in. So that's what intrigued me about this book. And of course the price. And then I got this, the Dead Sea Scrolls. So let me find it on my list here. I got this for $1.49 and this one is not actually for me. This is for my husband because he's very much into historical, the histor historicity of things and especially biblical. He loves Bible history. So um, this is like a magazine form um, about the Dead Sea Scrolls. So I knew he would like that. So I just picked that one up for him. Okay, and then the last book in this haul is by Lynette Eason. It's Collateral Damage. I have read and loved many of Lynette Eason's books. This is a, her new series. Um, this is the first book in the series. It's a trade paperback. It's a romantic suspense. And um, this one I got for $5, which again is a really good price for a trade paperback. So this is everything that I got in my haul from ChristianBook.com. I highly recommend them for finding Christian fiction. They have a lot of Christian fiction, most everything in Christian fiction, plus other treasures you can find along the way. But what I love most about them is that um, you can find deals all year long. They are, they are always having sales. They're always having markdowns when they get overstocks. Uh, they'll mark down um, imperfect books, which of course you could see from this one here, Imperfect. Well, uh, the Imperfects I've ever received from that company have, have been just fine. Uh, I'm glad they're marking it down for being picky, but I didn't care. It's still readable, still good. So, um, so I highly recommend shopping at christianbook.com. That's it for today's video, uh, sharing my haul. If you uh, like this video, please take a moment to hit the like button down below. And also, if you are interested in getting notified when I post more unboxings, you could subscribe to my channel. That would absolutely make my day. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below. Have you read any of these? Were, are there any of them that you'd recommend I start with first? Um, have you shopped at christianbook.com? What's been your experience? I read all the comments. I love when you comment. Um, that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching. Have a great day.